Today I'm showing you how to do some big tree texture. For that we are going to start with a white sheet of clay and you're going to draw lines with a blade, an exacto knife or a needle tool. You can also use a pointy toothpick. Whatever you have on hand will work just fine. And then you are going to use some black clay and just add some some details on the on the tree bark. It will help greatly if you have pictures of reference. And then you just copy the real thing. As you can see, I'm just randomly adding some some dark some black details on the on the tree bark. I'm simply using a toothpick and adding bits of clay one by one. And here I'm just adding a little bit more lines to the tree bark because I thought it was not quite enough. And here again with the needle tool. Then uh, I wanted to add some... well, I... Actually, Tanya from Sugar Sham Shop told me that I absolutely had to make the the tree bark flaking, so I added a few flakes. You want to use a very sharp blade and then remove a few flakes. Then you simply curl them and add them to the tree bark. I used the blade first, but then thought the exacto knife was easier to work with, so I used that instead. As you see here, I'm removing a piece of flake, curling, and then adding to the to the tree bark. And then I baked everything uh, in the oven, and I'm adding a bit of paint to give it some depth and more realism. As tree barks usually are kind of dark, not dark, dirty, <laughs> not dark. Some are dark, obviously, but I meant dirty. So you just want to add some some dirt. With um, I just mixed some some white with some black and brown, and just continue adding some details here and there. You can also add some more um, paint and then wipe the excess off. Yes, and this is everything for today's video. I very much hope you enjoyed this. Of course, you can make a 3D tree bark with it. I just have other plans with the tree bark, hence why I made them flat. I hope you liked everything. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Maybe check out my other tree bark tutorial. And I very much hope to see you in my next video. Bye!